What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend queer contemporary books and I like to create my own bookish challenges. Today I am sharing with you my December book haul. Who remembers this angle? I used to film here a lot in the summer, I think, of maybe 2020 and I actually love this angle because I don't get a lot of lighting so this is fun but I also talk about this in my recent podcast episode briefly but I just need to have a space where I walk around less because I currently have a little injury <laughs> and I talk about that more on my podcast so if you want to know you can go there but I'm totally fine I will be fine but I wanted to film and I don't want to just film on my bed so I am bringing book hauls back to my channel I'm also going to intertwine them with a library haul today's is just a book haul primarily but in the future they will also be combined with a library haul so I'm going to go over some books that were sent to me and just some books I received, maybe bought in December. <laughs> Let's get started. First is probably my favorite purchase ever. There is this little thrift store in my town that I've been to and it has like antiques. It's so cool. It's like this guy who just sells antique toys and stuff like that and he has a lot of bookcases so I always look through it. I was able to find like some childhood books there and I found the best book ever and it is this. This is Hartnell Down by Kyla Hartnell and Scott Hartnell illustrated by Sean Thompson and my favorite hockey player besides Wayne Simmons is Scott Hartnell. I have always been a big fan of him. I was very emotional when he was traded and I could not believe I found this. Like this was my favorite thing ever and I don't remember how much I got it for. I think I got it for like a dollar or something like that and this is just awesome. I am so happy to have this. I have met him once in person. He was super nice. Probably the best interaction that I've had with a hockey player in such a long time because I was able to tell him like I really like love you as a player. You're one of my favorites and he was just so grateful to hear that and honestly meeting him was like the best experience of my life. I just love him and I'm so glad that I found his book. So this is Hartnell Down and it is what everybody would say when he was on the team basically he would just always fall down so everybody would just say Hartnell down and he kind of ran with that and he made the Hartnell down foundation and I'm pretty sure that that's what this is for but I'm just so excited to have it like this is the best thing ever if I am able to meet him again I would love for him to sign this because it is just so cool and just a cool thing to have for when like I have kids and stuff like that and I can like share this with them. It's it's just awesome. It's probably my favorite thing ever. Next I want to just share some books that I've received and are kind of working on for my job. I'm not going to share them as much but if there's ones that I feel you should hear about I want to recommend them even though they're not really in my like current genre. I think that these are still some that you might be interested in or you know someone that would be interested. This is Wonder Walls by Phoebe Cornog and Roxy Prima and this is such a cool book. I have worked on so many cool books but this was just the coolest thing. So this is a home improvement book created by muralists from TikTok. They've done so many cool murals and this is just such a cool book. It is a home improvement book to just spice up your walls. There's home projects and things like that and what I love most about it is the instructions are so easy to follow. Like the book starts with some like basic things that you would need to know if you're painting a wall. Just goes through like some key terms and stuff like that. What I love is they show you how it's supposed to look and then they will just take you through step by step how everything is going to go and I love that as a visual learner. I just need to see how it's being done. They really give you everything that you would need for starting a project like this. It's just really easy to follow and I think it's just such a cool concept for a book and I love it. Another book I received from a publisher is from Soft Skull Press. In my Queer Lit Readathon vlog I did unbox this 
but if you missed that, this is High Risk Homosexual, a memoir by Edgar Gomez, and I don't really know too much about it. So this is a Latinx memoir by a queer man, and it is him talking about toxic masculinity, basically, and I'm excited. So after I read this, I will also pass it off to a Latinx reviewer because that's not a representation that I have, but thank you to Soft School Press for sending me this. I just love all of their books. They're so cool. I need to take some time to read the books that they sent me because they're all so cool and I just need to make the time. Now we're getting into the gifted books that I received for Christmas and just from my Amazon wish list, things like that. First, I received Ace of Spades by Farida IBK Amide, and I'm super excited to read this. I have heard so many great things about it and I'm just super excited. So thank you to Natalie S for sending me a copy of this from my Amazon wishlist. If you would like to send me a book, my Amazon wishlist is linked down below, but don't feel pressure to do so. If you would like to gift me a book, you can, but if you don't have the means, it's totally fine. Watching my videos, giving them a like, and just subscribing really is all that I could ask for. And now the books that I received for Christmas. I received Kate in Waiting, by Becky Abertali. I am super excited to read this. I love Becky Abertali. I've been wanting to read this book since it came out and I'm hoping to get around to it soon. I also received the Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green and it's signed. I think this is the first ever signed copy of a John Green book that I have. So that is really exciting. I actually have an audiobook of this from Libro FM. It was an ALC, a part of like their ALC program. So I'm excited to have a copy of it and be able to listen to the audiobook and read it. I know this is on everybody's best books of the year list and I'm super excited to read it just to see what the hype is all about. I'm very excited. <laughs> and last is The Heartbreak Bakery by A.R. Capetta. I have been wanting to read this since it was announced. It has an agender main character and it just has gotten really good reviews. I'm excited for it. I love books about baking and if you're making them trans then sign me up. <laughs> so those are all the books that I got in December. I'm not a very big book buyer but I like to introduce people to books so I decided to bring back the book halls slash library halls so I can just introduce you to new books. So that was my December book haul. If you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up so more people can see it and feel free to hit subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to be making this a monthly thing. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more bookish things from me you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and I now have my own podcast called Reader Rambles which will always be linked down below. It is a weekly podcast where I ramble about bookish topics and I give readers advice to help navigate their life. That's it for me today. I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.